Hello everybody, this is Eric Vierthaler of Vierthaler Studios here once again. So I feel like this is an important video to, to get made because uh, my channel was doing extremely well with views around the winter time of 2023. Then uh, my views went down significantly. Um, with Let's Watch a Movie, that was a huge hit for my channel. And now a lot of recent episodes of that haven't even cracked 10 views. Some even less than 5 views. So what I learned taking business this semester in college is that satisfy your fans satisfy your customers because they are the ones helping to keep your business running. <clears throat> and I want to treat my YouTube channel like a business in order for my YouTube channel to continue to grow and be successful. I'm not in it just to entertain myself. All of you are subscribed to my channel because you feel like it's, it's worth that investment of your time. So I can't just consider my own self-interest for the sake of the channel, but yours as well. So with that in mind, considering my recent views on my channel, I want to know from you, you yourself, the viewer, you yourself, the subscriber, what do you want to see on my YouTube channel? Now, I... Now, I get the other side of the coin that you can't please everybody. <clears throat> That's very, very true. Case in point, when I did things that pissed me off, episode five, over 10 years ago now, people were complaining, saying that I was yelling too much. Then for episode six, I toned it down, and people were complaining that I wasn't yelling enough. So there really is no pleasing everybody. But I do want to try to please as many people as I possibly can. So, with that said, what do all of you want to see? And I mean, heck, it's because of views. That's why I haven't made a what I think is overrated video in years now. Since like what, 2018, 2019 was when I made the last what I think is overrated video. Uh... Those videos used to get me some pretty decent views. It was never as popular as things that pissed me off. But those videos used to get me views. And for all those people who have been subscribed to me for a while, well, that answers why that I haven't made one in so long is because the last what I think is overrated video got like, what, 30-something views? When things that pissed me off would... Like would get me nearly a, a thousand views. Maybe not exactly a thousand views, but pretty darn close. And even a lot of the recent things that piss me off videos. Now the things that piss Antony off videos, those were videos that were getting better views than, than a lot of the videos that I, I was pumping out beforehand. But even a lot of the... Recent things that pissed me off videos have not done nearly as well as the original videos and then the rebooted series from 2019 until now. I mean, when I first rebooted things that pissed me off, it was a, a boost in views for my channel. But uh, they're not doing so hot now. And I think it's time to, you know, really consider, okay, what's going to get me views? What do you yourself, the viewer, want to see on my channel? Because I want to see my channel grow. And, uh, I mean, we have to think business-wise. Think about why that... There's so many Fast and the Furious movies because it's 
because of how much money that they make. Now, in this case, there's no money involved, but you know what I mean. I mean, think about why, you know, looking at my DVD and Blu-ray collection, this is a really good example. Shadow of the Vampire. I love that this movie, it's a great movie. I'm not speaking on behalf of the quality of the movie, but getting my hands on that movie was a pain in the ass. Because it's a more obscure film. Uh, because of that, it has not been released on Blu-ray. It's not on any streaming services because there's not enough demand. So, because there's not enough demand, that's why you can only get it on DVD. Uh, specifically, the DVD copies that came out when the movie left theaters and then was released on home video format. So, so yeah. Uh, if all of my subscribers and viewers can let me know uh, what they want to see on my channel. I would appreciate that just so I can figure out, okay, what direction should my YouTube channel go in? I mean, I, I, I want to make it worth my time and I want to make it worth your time as well. So if all of you can just please let me know, I would appreciate that. You all have a fantastic day.